You got a Pixel 3 or Pixel 3 XL and want to know what you can do with it? In this video I'll show you some quick tips and tricks for your Pixel 3 and 3 XL. I know the first thing you want to know is how to hide the notch. Google has confirmed that they'll add an easy option to hide it soon, so you can find it under the display settings later. But for now, you can do it using the developer settings. Go to settings, system, about phone and tap build number 7 times and going back, tap developer settings, display cutout and hide the notch or go for corner or double notch. If you want to see the battery percentage, go to battery and activate battery percentage. Now with Android 9, you have to get used to the new navigation bar. A quick walkthrough. Hold the middle button for Google Assistant, short tap to get to the home screen, slide up a little to see the last opened apps and background apps which you can close all at once by going to the far left. Here you can also tap on the top icon of an app to use split screen. Slide up even more to get to the app drawer. Slide the middle button to the right to quickly switch between apps and tap the back button to go back. That right side looks empty, just rotate your phone and the symbol that pops up makes auto-rotate unnecessary. Go to System, Gestures, Active Edge if you like to squeeze your phone to silence it or to trigger the Google Assistant. You can also set up your squeeze sensitivity here. In the Gestures menu, you can also set up Swipe fingerprint sensor for notifications, jump to camera by double tapping the power button, switch between main and selfie camera by doing jazz hands and more. Double tap to wake up is automatically on after activating the ambient display. Go to display, ambient display and tap always on for the always on display. Choosing the living universe wallpapers with a long press on the home screen and choosing wallpaper, living universe, you will get also a cool always on screen effect. Another feature is at sound now playing. Enable this and you can see what song is playing right now around you. It works offline too and the music history is saved for you to check later. Click on a song to listen to it via Google Play or YouTube Music. You like to have a dark UI theme? Go to display, advanced device theme and choose dark. Speaking of dark, night light can be turned on in the status bar and can be customized by a long press to filter blue light to protect your eyes and make it easier for you to sleep at night. I recommend an automatic schedule and to set up a comfortable intensity. You want to deactivate fingerprint, voice match and smart lock for the next unlocking process so only your pin code works. Go to security and location, lock screen preferences and show lockdown option. Holding the power button you'll see a lockdown button now. Inside the camera app, click on this and choose motion auto and the AI will automatically activate motion images if it believes something could ruin your shot. And with that, the top shot feature, which will recommend you the best image out of multiple ones, will be activated. After taking a picture in portrait mode, open the image, press this button and you can get the color pop effect. Press the same button again and you can set up how much bokeh you want. Google Lens is active now in the camera app too. Just point at stuff like links, barcodes or phone numbers and it will recognize it without additional apps. Go to settings, digital well-being and you can see how much time you spend doing whatever with your phone. Turn on the wind down feature and the phone switches to do not disturb mode and grayscale at certain times to keep you away from your phone. Activate flip to shh and you can enter the ND mode by placing your phone face down. Go to system, advanced multiple users to add multiple users to your phone. If you are driving a lot, go to settings, connected devices, connection preferences, driving mode and turn it on for automatic driving recognition. If the phone thinks you are driving, it can open Android Auto for easy in-car controls or switch to do not disturb mode. These were some quick tips and tricks for the Google Pixel 3 and 3 XL. If you like this video, feel free to give us a like, otherwise the dislike button is right next to it. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future content. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Umit for Mobile Geeks.